Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Bobby here at Island Judo Club and I am still rocking my white belt, embracing the journey of learning judo. Today's session was all about a new challenge, combining kuzushi techniques from two different directions. We started off with a review of basic kuzushi, that crucial element of breaking your opponent's balance. But Today, we're taking it up a notch. We're learning how to combine two different kuzushi moves one after another to really throw our partners off balance. Coach Vic is breaking down the double kuzushi move, showing us how to shift our opponent's weight forwards and then backwards, creating a chain reaction of instability. He emphasized the importance of timing and coordination making sure we don't give our partners a chance to recover. It's all about keeping them off balance and creating a rare opportunity for a troll. It's a really, really tricky move, but I am determined to be able to do it. The key is to use a forward right kuzushi to get them off balance, then quickly follow up with a backward left kuzushi before they can recover. It's really about timing and precision. Imagine this. Imagine you're facing your opponent. You use a kuzushi to shift your weight and then before they get a chance to recover, you hit them with another kuzushi and you land your troll, completely destabilizing their stance. It's really all about creating that chain of instability. It's definitely a challenging move to master. It takes a lot of coordination and timing to execute two kuzushi moves seamlessly. But that's the beauty of judo, right? It's a constant pursuit of improvement and every challenge is an opportunity to grow. Next, we are doing a gauntlet where we will be practicing what we have learned and we will be facing one another. Guess what? A gauntlet is a high intensity drill where one judoka would stay in the center of the mat while the others line up to attack one by one. Each attacker would then initiate a throw and the runner defends and counters with their own throw continuously engaging without rest. After being thrown, the attackers move to the end of the line and the next person steps in. Once everyone has attacked and the runner rotates out and the next person takes their place. This drill tests endurance, adaptability and the ability to execute precise techniques under fatigue, stimulating real match conditions and building mental toughness.
Run Dory. And it was as intense as I expected it. From the first exchange, it was clear that this would be more about survival than anything else. Facing Senpai felt like a whirlwind of grips, sweeps, and troll, testing everything that I thought I knew. From the moment we bowed, it was clear I was in for a lesson, not just in technique, but in humility. Every time I try to plant my feet to stabilize myself, I find myself being tossed to another place. It's humbling, to say the least. And by the end, I was completely drained physically and mentally. My gi was soaked. My legs felt like lead and my body ached in places I didn't knew could ache. But there's something about getting thrown over and over that teaches you more than just technique. It builds resilience. Even though I got my ass kicked, I walked off the mat feeling like I've earned every bruise, ready to come back even stronger. Alright everyone, that's a wrap. So today, we really dove deep into the double kazushi, learning how to combine two different balance breaking techniques to create a very powerful attack. It, it's really, really tricky, but I'm kind of starting to get a hang of it. All, all thanks to Senpai Ko and shout out to Senpai for helping me out. Alright, thank you all for joining me on this judo journey. Remember, it's all about the journey, not the destination. And in judo, there's always something new to learn. So until next time, stay strong and keep practicing. Us.